Hey guys, Bayward Boondocker here. Uh, I'd like to show you my current project uh, using the sun to power some fans. So I'm using the same energy from the sun that's heating my RV. I'm using that to help cool my RV down using some strategically placed fans and using that power from the sun. Um, and the way that I do that is I'm using some 12 volt deep cell cycle batteries uh, that are being, currently being charged by 400 watts of solar power up on my roof. I was previously using a large 200 millimeter PC fan in my window, but the CFM was like pitiful compared to a conventional fan. So I found these uh, fans on Amazon for about 20 bucks a pop. So I decided to see if they'd work. And yes, they work perfectly. Uh, even uh, like the dimensions of the fan, they're 13, by inch, uh, 13 inch by 12 inch. Uh, they fit perfectly in most conventional um, class C motorhomes in the cab over windows. So um, I want to talk really quick about the placement of these fans. So like as you know, the hot air rises. So I wanted to get these fans. I wanted to get them up at the highest possible. So a fan works best at pushing air rather than sucking it. So for example, if you want to place a fan in a doorway, a lot of the air that it would grab would be directly around the fan. That's the reason I wanted to place these things in a high location next to where most of the heat is gathering. I also wanted to put it in a window that was airtight to avoid uh, just recirculating the air around the fan versus actually creating some negative pressure to suck the air in through an open door. Uh, and these work just like a whole house attic fan in that uh, they will suck all the air from behind it and that uh, will suck in fresh air from other drafts that you have. So, you know, like for me, that would be my front door. Uh, I later have plans to put some uh, vents in the floor of the RV and then suck up some cool air because most of that is in the shade so um, it would be cooler air. Uh, right now it's about it's 91 degrees in here so um, I recently broke my outside thermometer so I can't give you a difference to tell you how much it's cooling right now but I can tell you that it does feel like it's working. When I blow uh, some smoke out up here onto the cab over, I can just watch that smoke kind of dissipate and being sucked out the windows. I live in Paranoia, plus I smoke many condoms. So I know that it's doing a good job. So um, these fans, they only suck uh, a half an amp. Um, so that's uh, with both of the fans, that's two amp hours being uh, sucked out of my 90 amp hour battery. So that's quite a while that I'll be able to use these. So. Um, Normally you could just use some solder points within the battery terminal, uh, but I was lucky that these fans had an actual 12 volt uh, wall wart that they came with. So what I ended up doing was just snipping off the ends of that wall wart and then uh, using some wire nuts uh, to wire that directly into my battery. And actually mine's not wired directly to my battery. I've got it wired into a, uh, a household switch that's got a fuse inside of that. and. It should, I should have a fan in there that, uh, sorry, a fuse in there that's about two amps, but mine is actually 30 amps, so it's not really helping right now. Uh, you should size the, the fuse to be a, a little bit over what your devices use. Uh, so one thing that's really important uh, when you're mounting a fan uh, that's blowing air outward uh, is to make a decent, maintain a decent air seal around where the fan meets the window. So I found some duct tape works well for this. It has near zero insulation properties, but it does block drafts of air. So it's it's like using a windbreaker jacket compared to bundling up with like a down jacket. You know, it's, it's gonna block most of the cold air. So I initially thought mounting these fans uh, to be square over the window uh, was gonna be a pain, requiring me to build some sort of like wood uh, you know, shelving or something like that. But I saw some other YouTube videos, and there was this really cool guy that uh, shared this tip on using some bare wire wrapped around a screw drilled into the wall. And I'm telling you this thing, this works perfectly. So I just, I just happen to have some wire laying around and some pliers, I use some pliers to bend the wire around the screw. And I drilled that uh, screw into the wall and then held that wire taut around the fan and then I drilled in the second screw. And uh, I thought that I'd have to make two wires but one wire was sufficient for this um, and so right now I'm currently using I don't really have a way to close these windows I'm just using uh, some reflectix 
that I just fold over the top of them and uh, that just stops any giraffes. But you know, it's, uh, it's summer in the Bay Area, so it's not like I need really to insulate this place. So the thing I love about these is they only like use one amp hour of uh, power. Um, so they're really, really kick ass. But you know, these are cool. If you don't, you don't need to go the off-grid route that I've gone. You can wire these directly into. You just use the 12 volt uh, wall board that comes with it, and then uh, just mount them the same way that I did. So, um, <clears throat> so thanks, guys. Um, if you guys like my videos um, and you are uh, passing away soon, please write me into your will. Uh, I'd love to be a benefactor of an estate of some sort. Uh, where I can park my RV uh, outside. So, but uh, if, if you don't have an estate or don't feel like writing me into your will, uh, you can also give me a thumbs up on the video, uh, leave a comment to say hi or something like that, uh, and definitely subscribe. So, thanks a lot, guys.